If he's already doing this within the first minute of his performance, less than a minute, what, where on earth is this going? How can you get any better than this? Hey everybody, welcome back. Yes, so it is. It's your girl Rosalie. Welcome to Rosalie Reacts, the ultimate world music reaction channel. I'm so happy that you're here. I love learning from you. So please, as always, let me know in the comments below where you're from, what I should react to next. Educate me, help me figure out some of these artists, what these songs mean to you. Today, we're going to check out a big and special artist that I have never listened to, but you have been asking and asking and asking me to listen to, react to an artist named Dimash, Dimash Gudaibergen. Now, I'm not sure exactly how to say his last name. As a German, I would say Gudaibergen. Berg means hill, mountain. Oh. Um, but this particular artist is not German. He's from Kazakhstan and uh, uh, allegedly, supposedly, has performed in 12 different languages, including his na native language, Kazakh, um, as well as in Russian, Mandarin, English, English French, French, Ukrainian. Italian, Turkish, Serbian, German, and Spanish. And he has performed a song named SOS. Um, I'm going to be reacting to his performance of SOS at the Slavic Bazaar. You've been telling me that Dimash is very special um, and just an absolute legend vocally. From what I can see, he is known for his operatically styled falsetto register. Correct me if I'm wrong, what do you know about him? He's able to sing very high notes, he has a large vocal range from what I can tell. As always, remember to like, share, subscribe, click the bell so you can be reminded by YouTube whenever I release a new video. I'm really happy that you're here. Let's dive in. Kudaibergen. Okay, Dimash Kudaibergen. Ooh, the vibrato in his voice is nice. He sings so high for a male. It's impressive. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. What is happening right now? I've got goosebumps within seconds of watching this, but I'm also blown away by how he comes in in this high-pitched falsetto, perfect performance, and then jumps low. Oh my goodness. It was creepy how he looked at me. Well, I mean, I know he's not looking at me, but I mean how he's looking at us as he's singing and then sings in his vocal, in, in such a low vocal range. Wow. Okay, guys, if he's already doing this within the first minute of his performance, less than a minute, what, where on earth is this going? How can you get any better than this? And the way he jumps too, low, high. Okay, that's why they're saying operatic falsetto. Sorry, I gotta close my mouth. Oh, 
Where's this voice coming from? He's this petite man with voice voices like a choir of angels. Where's this voice coming from? <laughs> I'm over here like, who's really singing? Where, where is he hiding? Where is he hiding? Where where is this person with this giant vocal range? This cannot this can't be him. <laughs> what is happening? Sorry, what? <sighs> I'm done. <laughs> The people don't even know what to do. I don't even know what to say, okay? I'm over here, like, blown away, trying to remember to shut my mouth because that's not so attractive. Trying to, like, not laugh because this doesn't make any sense, okay? This petite man with this giant voice, and then he does this and stops. I feel like even the audience is like, I don't think he's done. Do we clap? What does one do in such a moment of, of awe? This doesn't feel appropriate. <laughs> This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Oh my goodness. I mean, oh my goodness. Why do I live? Why do I die? We'll look at some of the lyrics in just a minute. Why do I scream? Why do I cry? So he's singing in French, I believe. Yeah, he's singing in French. Je, je crois. I think I come from another world. Yeah, I think you do. I was never well grounded. No lie, bro. You not uh, you not from this world. Sorry. What? What if he's like an alien? <laughs> What if he's like an alien disguised as a human? And we're all like, oh, we love him so much. <laughs> the German in me is coming out. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. <laughs> but what if he's like an alien, you know? And the extraterrestrials are just like, psych, let's drop this wonder. This, how many world wonders are there? Eight, seven or eight? Let's drop this eighth, ninth, tenth world wonder down here. Just right next to Diana and Kudinov and Fauzia, you know? I mean, no big deal, you know? It's not like our heart can take anymore, you know? No. And then back to that falsetto. Perfect clarity. Oh yeah, do a little run. No problem. That's his alien signature. He just gave himself away. <laughs> I can't believe what I just saw. This is crazy. Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. So was this like a, a Grand Prix or something like this? Grand Prix is awesome, by the way. There's there are very big vocal. I don't know if this is part of it. It sounded like the Grand Prix, and I'm guessing he was representing um, Kazakhstan, um, which. I hope he won that competition. I'm not sure. Tell me in the comments below. Did he? I'm assuming he did because how can you beat that? Grand Prix, if this is the Grand Prix, is an absolutely amazing show that I really love and appreciate. Really big in Europe. It's, I think, been like the first big vocal singing competition that's been out there. And um, different countries, all the countries in Europe are represented by a singer or by a band. And they all compete, you know, with their own songs. And then somebody wins. Big artists have come out of it, like ABBA. Dancing queen, young and sweet, only 17. You know that song? <laughs> Anyways, big artists have come out of the Grand Prix. So I'm guessing this was one of those Grand Prix, and I'm assuming he won, because how else would you beat this? I'm blown away, you guys. I have not much left, okay? There's artists out there. I was just telling my uh, friends in the band um, at a gig that I was at on this past, uh, uh, this past Saturday, and I was telling them about this reaction channel, and I was telling them about these artists out there that I've discovered, thanks to you, who are absolutely incredible, who I had never heard of before. Artists that have millions of views, that have billions of views. I mean, 
just mind blowing. And I keep seeing these artists you recommend, and it makes sense why you would say I should listen because how have I not heard of him before? But then to see this vocal performance, the way that he is able to perform with such strength and clarity, the operatic falsetto that he taps into, that I know many women wish they could do, then he jumps to these, I don't know how many octaves he jumped, with such strength and power on this, was it was it even a baritone level? I mean, just... Uh, but then also singing with such with such elegance, right? And what's... But that's why I had a laugh, not making fun, just mind blown that then he's sitting there, standing there, this fairly petite looking gentleman with, vo with a voice like that. Uh, let's look at the uh, let's look at the lyrics real quick, just because I'd like to see more of what that was about. Um, the song is called SOS um, and it is um, an earthling in distress. <laughs> see, I'm telling you, he's letting us know he's not from this earth. Um, <laughs> sorry, that's something weird. Not from this earth. <laughs> Anyways, why do I live? Why do I die? Why do I laugh? Why do I cry? This is the SOS of an earthling in distress. That's such a dope song, by the way cool rhyme even in the English translation I've never had my feet on the ground I'd rather be a bird I'm not comfortable in my own skin guys such things makes songwriting so beautiful because that's what the beautiful thing about music not only the the vocalization and the instrumentation and the rhythm and the beat and the melodies and the harmonies that make music beautiful but lyrics the words that often express things that we feel that we think that we subconscious or consciously perceive and can't put in words. And then you have a song like this and it's like, yes, me too. Um, can you relate to that? I, I can. I, I was just telling my husband today that sometimes I feel off or I, I feel confident and cool. Like, yeah, 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 I got this. And I say something and five seconds later, I'm like, oh gosh, was that weird? I hope they don't think I'm too much. I don't hope they don't think I'm weird or random. And I jump between confidence and charm to overthinking, feeling like I don't fit in. Have you ever experienced that, that feeling like you're not comfortable in your own skin, like an earthling in distress? I'd like to see the world upside down. If ever it were more beautiful, I'm not comfortable in, comfortable in my own skin from above. I've always confused life with comic books. It's like I have needs of metamorphosis. I feel something that draws me, that draws me upward. Interesting. So really just that this concept of feeling like an earthling in, uh, in distress, calling SOS, not fitting in, feeling out of place feeling uncomfortable in your skin. And I could see that being very personal um, to people. And then it ends with sleep, child, sleep. Dodo l'enfant, do. French is a beautiful language. Oh my goodness. Pourquoi je vis? Pourquoi je meurs? Voici les SOS. D'un terrien en détresse. An earthling in distress. Bois. What a beautiful song. Would you tell me what this song means to you? If you understand the lyrics in French, Or also if you've read the English translation or maybe heard it in a different language. I am absolutely amazed. Oh my goodness. And he's able to reach these incredibly high notes with such perfection and such control. He goes by Dimash. So his full name is Dimash Gudebergen or the Gudebergen. I'm like, need to be careful not to say it in German. My goodness. Sorry, I keep saying it. <laughs> I'm over here like some old German lady. Oh my goodness. My Nekute. I don't know what to say, you guys. I'm mind blown. Th this, the vocal performance, this is outer worldly. And how is this not playing on the radio? I mean, I get it. You know, there's a lot of artists that don't play on the radio because it's not poppy enough, probably, or top charty enough. But that's why I love listening to world music and listening to this type of stuff. Listening to artists that don't play on the radio, that have incredible talent. Thank you so much for introducing me. You guys, you have asked for it. I hope I've delivered. Thank you for sharing this. I'm impressed. And I understand, side note, by the way, why Russia, Kazakhstan, and the Russian-speaking countries around, why you take great pride in people like Diana Ankudinova and um, Dimash. You guys have some big diamonds out there. Big, 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 big treasures. You are very blessed that these um, amazing artists, these pearls of singers, come from your countries. Thank you for sharing it with the rest of the world. Thank you for sharing it with me. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you made it this far in the video, please remember to like and share it and subscribe. Until next time, ayo! Hey